everyone welcome back to another video so today in this video <laughs> we get to take a look at the brand new colors that have been added to the Derwent Inktense pencils I am so excited about this because if you've been watching my videos for quite some time y'all know that these are one of my favorite sets of pencils and I have been waiting the longest time for them to add new colors to this set but we're gonna take a look at these today I am going to swatch them out and we're gonna see how they fit in with the colors we already had in this set. If you check the description box down below, you'll find links down there for my email list, my Etsy shop, my Facebook group, and my Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I also now have channel membership. If you would like to find more information out about that, you can click the join button down below this video. So y'all, I've never been more excited. If you've been watching my videos for quite some time, you know that these are one of my absolute favorite pencil sets. I love these because they are so different than anything else. They're not like your typical watercolor pencil. They are actually an ink that you can activate with water and then it dries permanently and you could add layers upon layers upon layers and I just love these but they do come in this really nice Derwent case I did already have one of these I have my drawing pencils in a case just like this and this is a really great quality case so the fact that we got a case with them is really nice but I am probably going to be using this case for something else taking them out of this case and I will be putting these into color family order I'm so excited to be able to do that look at all these gorgeous colors I've seen some of the swatches in my Facebook Group. I was really amazed at some of the bright, beautiful, vibrant colors. Look at this green here. That is just gorgeous. And this pastel -y purple color, I absolutely love that. And then we get another bright yellow. But we are going to swatch these out and see what they look like and see how they fit in with the colors that we already had. So I did order these from Colt Pens and they were quite expensive. I paid somewhere upwards in the amount of like $70 for only 28 pencils. But I did something I wouldn't normally do and I paid the $20 shipping fee, <laughs> which is a lot. But this set of pencils is one of my absolute favorites and so I felt like it was worth it just to get these additional colors. But if you are in the US like I am ordering from Colt Pens is the only way that you could get these into your hands at the moment because they are not available in the US quite yet. Okay so let's go ahead and fold this down and take a look at the tips of the pencils. I just wanted to be able to see because y'all they did come a long way in the mail. Looks like I do have one broken tip here on this light pink color. Color, but that's okay aside from that they are in perfect condition when they were sent to me they were packaged in just an envelope so considering how they were shipped they are in very good condition but normally I would sharpen my pencils in my swatching videos but with these I'm going to have a little bit of an issue because I don't want to put this UPC tag that is on every single one of the pencils into my pencil sharpener now on the yellow one I did take the UPC off I just didn't have the time before filming to take all of the UPCs off and I wanted you all to be able to see if you were going to order them from Colt Pens how they actually came because this is going to be a lot of work to take all these off. Taking it off this one pencil did actually take me quite a while and I think I need to find something else to take all of these other UPCs off because it did damage my nails and I was not happy about that but I wanted to be able to take them all off before I go and re polish my nails. <laughs> So I'll hold this up a little bit closer so that y'all could see the tips of the pencil so you get an idea of what colors are in here. And they are not in any kind of order in here at all. I mean, it starts with the yellows and goes right to a red, but your oranges are way down the line. And then you've got another orangey red way down here. You've got a brown and then a blue and a dark purple. It's called violet blue. But we're gonna take a look at these. I'm gonna try to put them in some kind of order so that I could put them in color family order with the colors that I do already have but I'm excited to be able to use these so I'm just going to go through here really quickly and I am going to speed it up to music while I put them in some kind of color family order then we are going to swatch all of the colors out and I'm going to activate them with water so that you could see the difference in what the color looks like before they are activated with water because if you are familiar with Think Tense, you know that once you activate them with water the color becomes very deep and vibrant and beautiful.
so I've got them in some kind of order and we are going to go ahead and swatch these colors out now. And I have my swatch chart for my 72 colors because we are going to see where these new colors fit in with the older colors. And this will be the first time, y'all, that I swatch pencils out without sharpening them. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I am going to take all the tags off and sharpen them all before I add these in with the older colors and put them into color family order. But the first color we have is lemon. Beautiful, bright, vibrant yellow. And this swatch chart does have the space for 72 colors. This is one of my swatch charts available in my Etsy shop. I just wanted to be able to see what the colors are. So that one is called gold. This one is golden sun. This one is just a little bit darker than that previous one. And I'm thinking I should lay a couple layers down just because when I activate them with water, I really wanna have enough color down there. But golden sun. This one is mango. We have quite a few shades of yellow and orange that are included in these new colors. We already in the original 72 had quite a bit of yellows and oranges. So I'm really curious to see how these are gonna fit in with the colors we already had. So this one is orange sorbet. This one is wild flame. This is gonna be an orange with quite a bit more red in it. This next one is paprika. And this one is going to be a little bit more red than the other one. It still does have a bit of orange in it. Really pretty color. And then we're going to have another red. This one is Persian red. Oh, and this is the one that broke. This one is called Pink Flamingo. Oh, this is a pretty color. It does look like a flamingo. Look how pretty that is. This next one is called Sugar Plum. Oh, this is a gorgeous color. It's like a deep reddish purple. Very pretty. And the name does describe it well. Now we have Amethyst which is another shade of purple. I love that we're getting additional purples. The next one is Violet Blue. And again, the name describes it very well. It's definitely a very pretty dark shade of Violet Blue. Next we have Nightshade. And this one looks like it might just be a darker shade of this one, but it does have much more blue in it. It's a very dark, dark blue. I'm not sure if I'm seeing a little bit of purple in there. We'll be able to tell more when we activate them with water. This is Lapis Blue. Oh, that's pretty. A very pretty mid-tone shade of a bright blue. Super, super pretty. Next one is Denim. This is just a really dark blue. Now we have a Dark Cerulean another very dark shade of blue. Now see, this one probably should have gone here, but I will fix all of that when I add them to the other colors. I'm so excited to have 100 colors now. Now we're getting into the blue-greens. This one is called Mineral Blue. Oh, look how pretty that is. I always get excited over teals or blue-greens because I use those colors quite a lot when I'm coloring. Now it looks like we have a lighter shade of blue-green. This one's called Malibu. Super pretty color. I want to get enough color down there so when I activate it with water, we can really see that color. And I think this one has a little bit more green in it. I'm really not sure. This one is called Sea Breeze. Yes, I did swatch these before so I could see which ones had more green and which ones had more blue. I kind of swatched them off to the side to make sure I was putting them in the right place. But this one definitely has more green in it and then this one has more blue. That's a gorgeous color. This next one is called Mint Leaf. So we're getting into the greens now. Now I have Lime Green. Oh, look at that color. <laughs> I love colors like this. Look how gorgeous that is. And those of you that are not familiar with the ink tents, they go down onto the paper super, super soft, but they are not a soft, soft pencil. Nothing compared to something like a Prismacolor. They are a little bit harder, but when they go down, they have kind of like a chalky feel and they go down super, super nice and pigmented. This one is called olivine. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Now we're getting into the browns. This one is called natural brown and you do get some really pretty browns already in this set. You get a lot of browns that have yellow in them and a lot of browns that have some orange in them. So with the original set of colors you do already get quite a few. So I don't see that they would have needed to add a whole lot of browns in this set. This one is Burnt Umber. So this one is probably going to be rather dark. Yep, this one's a little bit darker than that other one. Then we have our grays. I think this one is like a brownish gray. It's called Dark Mink. 
It's a very different color. I don't know, maybe it's like a dark brown. It looks gray and brown at the same time. At least that's how I'm seeing it. But that's gonna be a very useful color. This one is called Storm Dust. So this is a gray. And again, in the original 72 set of colors, we did get a few different shades of gray. So we probably didn't need that many. But we do have one more gray here. This one is called Asphalt. And this is a super dark gray. I think this shade right here is pretty close to their black that came with the original set of 72 colors. That's a super dark, dark gray. So here's all the colors all swatched out. We do get some really pretty, bite bright vibrant colors and we get some much darker colors we do get some mid-tones as well we get some gorgeous really pretty green blues in this set but I will say that we do get quite a few of our yellows and our oranges I just love this pink flamingo so let's go ahead and add water to these I'm going to squeeze my water brush and just come over here on the lemon and activate half of it. Oh, how pretty. Oh, look how much brighter that gets. So I am wiping my brush off on the napkin between every one. Oh, look at that golden sun. Look at the difference. It's almost like you get two different colors with each one. They lighten and brighten and they're so beautiful. Let's try the mango. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I absolutely love the Inktense pencils. Now the orange sorbet. Oh, so pretty. Let's try the wild flame. That's a really pretty color. It looks corally. Now the paprika. Oh wow, look at that one pop with that water. Now the Persian red. That's another really pretty color. Now we're gonna come down here. I can't wait to see the pink flamingo. Oh, look how bright and vibrant and gorgeous that color is. It's kind of like a light corally pink color. Very pretty. And I can't remember right now what pinks we get in the original set. I have to go back and look and we'll do that next. Oh, look at that color. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow. That was sugar plum. That sugar plum and the pink flamingo, those would be so pretty blended together. And the sugar plum with this amethyst, those would also be super pretty blended together. Look at that pretty color. I love that we got another purple. And then the blue violet. Oh, this one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how intense that got. Now you can use these like a regular colored pencil if you'd like to, or you can activate them. But I always activate them. Look at that dark, beautiful, vibrant shade. Oh my gosh, that color's gorgeous. Look at these purples. Lapis blue. This one's gonna be pretty. Y'all know I love blues. Oh, how pretty. See, that one is so much prettier when it is activated, but you can use these as regular colored pencils or you can activate them. You can do whatever you'd like. And even after you activate them, you can come back and lay down more layers. I do have an intense guide video on my channel. I'll go ahead and link that in the upper right hand corner, but it shows you all the different ways that you could use your Derwent ink tents. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love that color. It's like it looked so blue. And then when you activate it, look how bright and vibrant and teal it looks. That's gorgeous. Okay, so now we have the blues that have a little more green in them. Oh, look how pretty. That's the mineral blue. Oh, that is super pretty. Malibu, this is gonna be gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Now the sea breeze. This is gonna be pretty. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, these colors are gorgeous. Look at that, that is so bright and intense. Now, if y'all don't have Inktense pencils, if you're in the US, you could very easily get the 72 set for right around $100. Just to get these additional colors, like I said, I did spend like $70. I feel like that was quite a lot of money, but to me, it was worth it. Look at this gorgeous green. Oh, this is gonna be pretty. Oh my gosh, look at all of that yellow that comes out of it now. Oh, how pretty. I'm trying to make sure I wipe these off really well. But these two colors right here would look gorgeous blended together. Now we have natural brown. I love the Inktense browns. They are some of my favorite browns, especially after you add the water. Look at the difference in that color. Now burnt umber. 
Uh, going off the swatch chart, that's okay. Look how deep and rich that got. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. So we have this dark mink. Now see, this one is the one I was curious about. I wanna see what the undertone of this is. It's kind of confusing. That's like, it's literally like a brownish gray. It's so weird. Now it looks like it has purple in it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a very different color. It's so super pretty though. Now the storm dust. And for those of you that are wondering, I have my swatch chart printed out on the Spring Hill paper. This is my favorite paper for colored pencils. It works really well with the Derwent ink tints. Now this asphalt, I had a feeling was gonna turn almost black and I'm right. It's a super dark, dark gray that looks almost black, but all of these colors are gorgeous. Let's go ahead and get out the original 72 swatch chart and we'll see where these colors fit into the colors we originally had. Here's all the yellows and the oranges and a couple of the reds that we get in the original 72 set. So let's see how these fit in here, but we've got lemon. So we had this sherbet lemon and they look very close. It's also very close to the sun yellow. I'm not sure that there is a whole lot of difference between those colors or that we even needed this shade of yellow. These are super, super close. This one might be a little bit darker and come right here in between the cadmium yellow and the sun yellow. And then we have gold, which is super, super, Super pretty and that's a nice addition because this one looks to be a bit darker than the Sicilian yellow and we do have this sienna gold but it's definitely not the same shade this one has more orange in it and it's closer to the golden sun but those are definitely two different shades this one looks to be a little bit lighter than the golden sun and mango looks like it is a darker shade of the cadmium orange we have orange sorbet and this one actually fits in here very very nicely because I don't know, do we have a true orange orange? No, we did not have a true shade of orange before. So this one fits in really, really nicely. Look at that, that's surprising. We really needed that color. Okay, and then we have the wild flame and I would say the wild flame sort of comes in right about here somewhere, right here next to the scarlet pink but this one has more orange in it, it looks like. I'll have to swatch them out again to really, really see. But this one definitely has a lot more red in it and this one looks a little bit more corally. Then we have the paprika and the paprika does look similar to some of these shades right in here. Maybe a little bit like the scarlet pink, but if I hold them super, super close, this one looks like it's a darker shade than the scarlet pink, but with the same undertone. Then we have this Persian red and this Persian red is is actually a nice addition. It is darker than some of these others here. Darker and a little bit brighter. And then in the original set, we go right into the reds that are actually more true reds. And then we have this gorgeous pink flamingo. And I don't think we have another color like that. This one is much more bright and vibrant than these other colors. That's a really nice addition to this set also. And then I was really curious about this sugar plum here. And the sugar plum is actually a a darker shade of this color here. This is fuchsia. I love the fuchsia. I use it all the time, but I have always struggled with the fact that I need to add something that has a lot more purple in it when I use the fuchsia. I always wished that this was a little bit darker. So this for me is a really nice addition as well. Then we have amethyst and this is a lighter shade of purple. And as you can see from the original colors or the original 72 colors, we didn't have a light purple, so now we do. And then we have this gorgeous shade of violet blue, which is a deep, deep dark purple. It's gorgeous. But there is nothing else here in the original 72 set that we had that was anything like this violet blue. This is a really nice addition. And then we have nightshade. This is gorgeous. And as you can see from my swatch, we did not have a deep dark purple before. This color is beautiful. Then we have lapis blue and this one looks a little bit like the deep blue, but they are definitely different shades. Then we have the denim. This is another really pretty color that we don't have anything that is really that close to it. And then the dark cerulean. Oh my gosh, I love this color. This dark cerulean would be gorgeous blended in with the sea blue. Look how pretty those are. We've got a more medium tone here, which before I would have used this as my darker shade, but now that I have this dark cerulean, oh my goodness. 
That would be a gorgeous color to create some dark, deep, intense shadows and a lot of depth and dimension. So then we get this mineral blue here, and this color looks like it is a darker color of this green aquamarine, possibly. So again, we have a much darker shade that we could use for those deep, dark, intense shadows. Then we have Malibu, and this is a really pretty color. It looks like it would fit in somewhere right here, and we did not have another color that was this exact shade. Again, another beautiful color. Then we have Sea Breeze. I am loving all these deep, dark, intense colors because we did not have something like this before. And again, every time I'm coloring, I either have to grab my swatch chart and find another dark color in another color family to really create those deep, intense shadows on my coloring pages. But with the addition of these new colors, I don't have to do that anymore because if you look at this color here, it would fit in really nicely with like the green aquamarine or the dark aquamarine, and I would be able to stay within the same color family. But something like the sea breeze and the green aquamarine and then the Malibu, those would be so pretty together. I feel like we have quite a few green blues or teals now and the addition of these few that we got here will make a big huge difference. Then we have mint leaf and I think this one is similar to the vivid green but this one is darker. We also have the field green over here but those are not exactly the same. I think they might have a little bit of a different undertone. I would have to lay them one right up against the other to really be able to tell and I'll do that when I put them into color color family order. Then we have lime green, which we didn't have anything like this before. That is a gorgeous color and a really nice addition to the set. This will look so pretty paired with the apple green or maybe some of these greens down in here, some of the mid-tones or the darker ones. This will make any object on your coloring pages really pop off the page. And then we have this gorgeous olivey green here. I don't think we had anything that was exactly like this one. That's a really pretty color. It looks like it might be a little bit close to the beach green. Then we have natural brown and it's a really pretty shade of brown, but looking at the browns that we have in the original 72 set, we didn't have anything like this natural brown. And then a burnt umber, this is a very dark, deep, intense color, again, like some of the others that I mentioned, the nightshade and the sea breeze and the mineral blue, but I love the addition of these dark, dark colors. So the burnt umber is a really pretty color and it fits in really nicely with this set. Then I have this dark mink that is just such a different color. It looks a little bit similar to the dark chocolate and the bark, but it's not exactly the same. The Derwent Ink Tents has some of the best browns. You've got some really light shades of brown. You've got some browns with orange in them and browns with reds in them. I mean, there's just so many different shades of brown. So the additions of these two colors are really going to help you to add to the different undertones if you or coloring something like fur on one of your coloring pages. Then we get a couple grays, and I'm gonna pull this down this way so I could hold the grays up right next to the grays that we got. But we got the storm dust, and then we got this asphalt. And this asphalt is a super dark, dark color. Right here, we have ink black. And I'm looking at the asphalt, and it even looks like it might even be darker. I think the storm dust looks like it might be right in here somewhere around where we've got this charcoal gray. But this gray is actually a nice addition to this set as well. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and after I'm done filming, I'm going to get to putting these into color family order because I really want to be able to fit these new colors into what we already had in the original set of 72. And I will say again that I do like the order that the pencils came in. So I'm probably most likely just going to take these and fit them in to the other colors. So it should be pretty easy to do. I'm gonna make a whole new swatch chart so we've got all 100 colors in one place, but I love the addition of these new colors. But the only one I see out of all of these 28 new colors that we probably didn't really need was this yellow here because we already had a couple bright, beautiful yellows and these are super, super close. This one's just a tad bit darker than this color here, but all of the others fit in really nicely and I'm really excited to have these. If you're in the US and you're trying to get these pencils, I will put that 
link down in the description box below so that you can easily find it. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.